Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Madden cheese as always. Uh, got another full breakdown video for you guys. Every month, uh, I like to put out at least one full breakdown, one full ebook in video form uh, on YouTube. This month, I'm putting out uh, the Buccaneers, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That's one of the best passing playbooks in the game. It's right up there, in my opinion, with the New Orleans Saints. If you guys want me to continue doing this, do me a favor. First of all, hit the like button. Secondly, if you guys could do me a favor, let me know what you, what playbook you guys want to see next month. I typically try to put it out in the beginning of the month. Uh, and other than that, let's go and let's get right into the video. Next up, we got the PA stretch. All you're going to do here, put the uh, the Y route on a streak. And against cover two, uh, the receiver, the X route, is going to get open uh, outside of it. Now, if I got a better throw there, I probably could have made a better catch and run. So I'll do that one more time. He said, if I could throw this ball a little bit quicker, a little bit cleaner, uh, this could be a one-play touchdown against cover two. Against cover one, that same uh, X route can really get outside uh, for a big play. So remember that. It's also a good man beater. Next up, we have the counter weak. Uh, this is another play you can motion across the receiver to give yourself a blocking advantage. It shifts the defense a little bit. Uh, but ultimately, you know, it's all about the blocks in front of you anyway. There you can see he gets down to that next level safety, which is why it's going to be helpful against zone coverages. Against man coverages, you don't want to do that. Next up, we have the jet sweep. Here's another play that's going to be best against man and off coverage formations like cover three, cover four. Um, you can flip the play to either side and there won't be any... Uh, anything to notify your opponent so it's going to be a really good play typically um, you know you could take it wide there I had to had to kind of run back a little bit so every once in a while you'll have somebody cut in on you uh, if it's a cover two if there's like a cornerback down in space I will typically have to cut off short but if it's a cover three or cover four the corners play back and you can take it wide that's typically the best way to say it um, so cover twos like right here we got to cover through safety I'm gonna flip it so I can run away from that cover through safety uh, it's going to give me a little bit of an advantage and like I said sometimes guys bust through but once you get to the edge It's usually a lot of space Next up we have the PA Bucks wide corner against cover two Streak the a route and the B route you need a lot of space. That's why I'm running this to the sideline uh, But the B route can beat uh, cover twos outside You just have to bullet and pass lead away But like I said you need that extra space if you run it from the center of the field, it'll still work, but you won't be able to beat elite safeties unless you have that, that extra space. You can also uh, do a cover two variation where you just drag the receiver. Um, that will basically uh, put the outside cornerback where he has to choose high or low. If he chooses the, the, the corner route from the tight end, then you throw it underneath, get a catch and run. If he drops down to the, to the drag, then you throw it to the corner route. Next up, we got the PA misdirection shot. This play with no adjustments is a one-play touchdown against cover three and cover four. Uh, you just have to wait for this B route to get across the safety, and then he's gone for a one-play touchdown. Against cover four, it's essentially the same look. No adjustments. Just have to wait for him to cross that, that safety again, and then bullet pass lead away. And it's an easy one-play touchdown again. Next up, we got the PA misdirection shot. This play is a one-play touchdown against cover three with no adjustments. Um, it's also a one-play touchdown against cover four with no adjustments, but we'll do that next. So the B route here, once he crosses that safety, uh, that's going to be your one-play touchdown. It's really that simple. Then we'll do cover four. Like I said, you really just bullet and pass leading away once they cross the safety on both of these plays. So here's another one. Once that B route crosses that safety, um, you know, you really just got to rack catch it too. I think that's the most important part at the end there to make sure you secure that catch. Next up, we got the stretch alert X smoke. It's another good play. It's good against cover three, cover four. Um, the X route here, as long as you... Uh, run the uh, run the smoke the opposite side of the safety 
Like if I flip the play here and I run it to this side, the safety's right there, so it's not going to work. Uh, although the run will, the run will work better. <laughs> so you really have to go away from the cover three safety, and whichever side you go in the run or the pass is going to be better away from the cover three safety. It's a good run overall, but against cover three and cover four, it's going to be best. Next up, at a single back ace, we have the zone alert Z smoke. This is a play if it's a cover three. Uh, you could throw to the uh, B route, but obviously if the safety's on the cover three side, um, it's not going to work out too good. It'd be something that you probably want to flip the play. You can see right here we got more separation now. There's no safety over there. Uh, but ultimately that's going to be the best, uh, best against cover three and cover four. Against cover four, there's nobody on either side. Other than that, um, I also would like to run away from the safety. Uh, so that'd be best against in the run play. So right here, like I said, cover three. It's a really good cover three, cover four play. Next up, we got the close PA cross. So this is another play, uh, cover play one or cover three, one play touchdown. You just have to wait for this X route to cross, and you can see right here I mean, we're just you know it didn't quite have the separation I was expecting, but it's still a good play. Still beats the safety against cover four. It's essentially the same thing. No real adjustment needed. Uh, the B route here might be, uh, I mean, you can, you can make an adjustment, and I'll do that in a second here, but the X route here is still going to be gone regardless. So I don't, yeah, that, short was, that throw was a little bit short because he was going by more than that. Uh, but ultimately, like I said, you don't need any adjustments in it to cover three and cover four, one play touchdown. Next up, we've got the PA Power O. It's a good cover two play. All you got to do is streak the A route. The, uh, the B route, whenever the tight end gets set, will get outside the cover two cornerback and safety. He's got a bullet pass lead to the sideline. Except we got the PA tight end flood. Against uh, cover two, all you have to do is streak the A route. And the B route will get an outside release outside the cornerback. And, uh, you know, you just hit him on the sideline. Bullet pass lead away from the safety. Next up, we got the tight end attack. Just streak the A route. Uh, the RB route, you can do whatever you want. You can put them on a drag, a flat, whatever. Um, but ultimately, against cover two, the B route will get outside release of the cornerback, and you can just bullet and pass lead to the sideline. Uh, make sure that you safe catch on the sideline so you don't go out of bounds. Next up, we got the four verticals. So right here, uh, it's a one play. It's a, a good play against cover two. Uh, it's already set up. You get an outside release on this uh, this X route. You don't have to do anything. You just basically bullet, pass lead to the boundary, and, and safe catch, and you're going to have a big play against cover two pretty much every time. Next up out of the single back ace slot, we have the stick. Just streak the Y route, and the uh, the X route will get outside uh, the cover two cornerback in safety. Typically, just got a bullet pass lead away and safe catch on the line, on the sideline. Next up, we got the four verticals. Against cover three uh, and cover two, motion out the B route, put the X route on a drag, block the running back. Uh, the drag's a good check down. Against cover three, the RB route will get open right in the seam. Uh, it's pretty consistent play. Against cover two, uh, you're going to motion, like I said, the motion here is going to get open. So we're going to go, we're going to pick cover two. Uh, we can just change this up. If it's cover two, just streak uh, the RB route. That's all you really got to do. So, like I said, right here, B route gets outside of cover two. Uh, tight throw, bit, bit to the boundary. He didn't even catch it. We'll do it one more time. I said against cover two, you can motion snap him because if you let him get set all the way to the boundary, that's part of the problem as to why he uh, why he ran out of space. So like I said, right there, cover two, get outside. Cornerback trail a little bit. I keep forgetting to put the drag. Uh, you have to, That's part of the reason that the drag is important against cover two. So we'll set that one more time. The drag will help pull that cover two safety down. So let's go and do that again. 
Either way, he's catching it. Next up, we got the bench. Just gonna put the X right here on a flat. <coughs> Motion across the tight end, put him on a streak, and it's gonna be a really good cover two play. Um, it's gonna get the uh, the wire out open a lot better than he would uh, typically against a, a regular cover two, and it's gonna make it a really explosive play because those the streak and the flat really stretch the cover two apart uh, to the outside. So it's a really easy one play touchdown. You can run it the same way against cover three. You can also put the, uh, you can motion Jackson over too. You don't have to motion the tight end, it really doesn't matter. Uh, but against cover three, I mean, you can really dot up this, uh, the same route, really. So, you know, it's it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter what defense. It also works like that against cover four also. So we'll go ahead and we'll put a cover four out there. So, same look. Now we got a cover four. And it's it's just it's dotting up any zone, any zone easily. I, I actually should have waited. I threw that a little bit early. Next up, we got the flanker spot. So let's play here. Motion across Deshaun. Put him on a streak. Put the X on a flat. Block the running back. And uh, that's pretty much it against cover three. I mean, this Y route gets open against that. It's gonna get open against cover two, three, four. Man, uh, pretty much anything you wanna wanna look at. So we'll go ahead and we'll do. We'll just go down the line here. We'll go cover two next. I also want to like block the the A route. I'm not block the A route. I mean block the uh, put the a, the, the a route on a, on a on a streak just to pull coverage back. You can see how easy this is. This is on all Madden, but it's it's super cheesy. So super easy this year. And we'll go down the line. Like I said we'll do man against man. You don't really have to make a motion. That motion isn't doing much. It's just really. Just waiting for this Y route to get outside. Yeah, really make that pass. I mean, man coverage is a little bit harder to beat with this play. Not because it's it doesn't beat it, but because it's just um, it's more like 50-50. Like right here, gonna be it this time. You know what I'm saying? Gotta make those safe catches more often. I mean, it's just not you know you just don't get the separation against man, but it still beats it. And then against cover four, you don't have to make that motion either. Motions, you know, the cover fours just don't cover that 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 route outside. That's just how you beat cover four pretty easily. So, this uh, this route combination beats just about everything. Next up, we got the jet sweep. It's a good play to run, man. This is not like the the most explosive run ever, but you're gonna get it to a speed receiver, uh, and it's a good run. You know what I mean? It's like it's not a it's not something that um, really has the best blocking. Uh, but you can see, I mean, I'm, I'm getting to a fast guy, and uh, I typically have a, you know, if that receiver holds up his block, I'm typically getting like 10 yards or more. So it's a pretty good run. Definitely want to mix that in. Next up, we get the halfback inside zone. It's another play because of the formation pulling it the way that it does. Um, you can really get some good inside runs. Uh, but you can also kick it outside. I mean, it's a really good outside run as well. Um, but you don't really need, uh, you know, like I said, that, that guard, like that guard does a good job of holding the point of attack. And then he gets, does a good job of the, by the time that you get there, like he creates that lane, like right there. And then he also peels off. So here, I mean, that cornerback or that receiver just blasted that cornerback to the background. So that's just a really good run altogether. Really consistent run. Next up, we got the PA counter shot. This is a one play touchdown against cover three and cover four. Just block the B route. Give yourself uh, a little extra little extra blocking to, to reel out to and then just wait for this guy to cross and you got to get a better throw than that but you can see he's crossing let's go ahead and do this again so just cancel that play action shorten the throw length by motioning out a little bit and then you can see it's definitely there just not getting the most accurate throws so I'm gonna go ahead and do that one more time with the cover for a drop now Said so block that RB route because he's or the B route because he's gonna get in the way. I don't want that. He's much more valuable as a blocker. And then once he crosses that safety again, we're just floating it up. Get a little bit of an animation there, but you'll typically get more separation than that. It's all just timing, pass leading, and bulleting away from the safety. Next up, we got the stretch alert looky. Another good run play. Uh, I mean, I'm just using it as a stretch. I mean, not every playbook has a stretch. 
Uh, but this is something, I mean, I could flip the play if I want to go the opposite way, but ultimately, um, I'm just, like I said, this is just a good stretch play in my book. I'm, I'm not really going to throw it to the wideout too much. There's a chance you could throw an interception. I'm not doing that. Next up, we got the, the PA CLX post. Next up, we got the PA fork. Against cover three, just, you know, block the RB route. Uh, give yourself a wall of blocking. And you're just really just waiting for that X route to cross that safety. Uh, as you can see right there. So cover three, it's an easy one play touchdown with them crossing the field. You get excellent blocking if you block those tight ends. And uh, you're just going to, you know, get behind that wall of blockers and throw it up the alley once he crosses that free safety. And you see, so we're basically hitting easy one play touchdowns against cover three and cover four just by putting somebody on the block. You don't really have to block them either. I mean, it's just better to do that. Next up, we got the Buck Smash. Against cover four, just flat this uh, receiver here. Um, it's good practice just to motion across the, the, the RB route and put him on street because that's going to be the cover two adjustment anyway. Um, so, like I said, against cover four, this B route really doesn't cover or this doesn't get covered against cover four. I still threw it too early. You really have to wait throwing it because of pressure. But ultimately, like I said, it's also the cover two setup. Just look right there. I'm trying to streak A, but it ain't letting me. All right, so yeah, right here, cover two. It's going to be a much bigger play against cover two because the way that the streak and the flat spread the defense apart when a cover two comes. Um, so a real easy play. You could also It also works against cover three like that. Next up, we got the four verticals. So this is just a cover two play. No adjustments needed because of the way that these corners or these uh, receivers are pulling in the cover two safeties. Don't even have to motion nobody. It's just a really good play outside. Bullet pass lead to the sideline. Safe catch it. Um, you can motion them out. I mean, it, it, it can have a, a benefit. Let's see if we can get that cover two back on. Uh, but you definitely, you can motion them out. It might give away to the user a little bit where you're going with the ball, but and then I got hit there. But you don't need to. You know what I mean? It, it'll, it'll be open regardless. So no real need for the motion. It's still a good play. Next up, we got the halfback zone week. It's another good short side run depending on what you're looking at. Um, but just a consistent bread and butter run. These zone weeks are pretty good. I don't. I don't think this is necessarily one of the one of the better ones, but it's um, you know it's definitely consistent. I could actually bust it outside and had a really big run there. Um, but like I said, it's a consistent run. I'm not going to say like it's a home run type of play, uh, especially when you have a guy split out like that linebacker there. That's going to actually get in the way. Um, so ultimately, it's almost best like we have another linebacker split out here. You, pretty, you typically want to motion one of these guys across, uh, just give you a better chance as far as blocking. So uh, just like other formations, I mean, if it's a man coverage. Um, you don't want to motion a guy across because you're going to get an extra defender across. But if it's a zone coverage, you want to motion a guy across uh, to give yourself a blocking advantage. So right here, it looks like we got another zone, uh, and then we're just going to, you know, it's going to it's going to be at that uh, that point of attack. Uh, pretty consistent run, like I said, a bread and butter run for a formation like this. Something you can run a lot. Next up, we got the jet sweep. Another good play, an outside run. Pretty consistent five to ten yards depending on what defense you're looking at might be best against man like right here there's no cornerback outside also want to run to the open side of the field uh, but I don't feel like moving the play because <laughs> I know more of the plays from this formation are going to be needed for the wide side so whether it's I mean the only defense is really going to give this issues is cover two zones so that's about it next up we got the PA dig just a cover one man play um, you're just kind of waiting for the X right here. You can see he gets across that formation really quick. Uh, it's probably one of the faster cover one uh, one play touchdowns as well. Just remember to block. I mean, you don't really need the tight end doing what he's doing either. You can block everybody really. Um, I, I think that the uh, the tight end probably serves a bit of a purpose, but ultimately, I mean, the X route's really the way anyway. So I mean, he's just he's just just roasting this. I don't know, he fumble there. You can block the RB route. That's not really necessary. And the way this game's user is this year, um, you can't really, there, there's not going to be any user covering issues here. So uh, part of the reason that the Sean's burning it like that, he doesn't get jammed at all. It's just the way that the play is designed. If you watch, um, if you watch the way that this route, I mean, he doesn't get touched because the RB route goes outside. He just slips underneath. Um, and that's really what makes this play so successful is it can't really get any hands on them. 
Next up, we got the PA Fork. This is a cover three, one play touchdown uh, with no adjustments. I'm going to block the RB route, give myself plenty of blocking. Uh, we're just going to have a wall here protecting me. And then once this guy gets past, um, past the free safety, it's a touchdown. Really simple. Also works against cover four. But we got to motion this guy out. So we'll create our wall of blockers again. Get that play action. Like I said, we got nothing with blockers. And then that X route gets past that safety one more time. And we got a tutty. Ooh, we got a tutty. Ooh, we got a tutty. Next up, we got the PA counter waggle. Just streak the A route, and the, the B route's going to be covered too. Uh, this is when he, you got to wait a little bit until he drops down on the on the Y route coming across, but it's going to be covered too successfully. Next up, we got the PA flood. Just a cover two play. Put the Y route on streak. And uh, the, uh, I should have canceled the play action too because it could mess up the timing. But basically the X route is going to get open to the sideline. Just bullet, pass lead to the side and uh, make sure you safe catch so that you don't go out of bounds. Next up we got the PA misdirection. This play right here, if you're running it from the open side of the field, you can get a one play touchdown. Out of this. I'm just going to streak the Y route. Um, and basically the X route here can be a really big play. Like I said, if you got more space, you can really turn up the field. The boundary kind of got in the way there, but you can really make this an easy one-play touchdown. You're not always going to have uh, the ability to run from the open side of the field, though. Next up, we got the halfback stretch. So, stretch play. Nothing really to it. It's just good to the boundary. It's going to take it to the edge, take it to the outside. You can flip it. Um, I find best if you're going to flip it, you got to motion uh, either the, the top one of the tight ends or the receiver uh, to give yourself that advantage to the other side. You can motion snap him, though, so that he's, he's in close. Uh, but ultimately, I mean, it's best just to run it as it's designed. There's not real too much need uh, because you have the blocking advantage. You have all the extra blockers, two tight ends and a receiver on the right side already. Next up, we got the comeback and go. This play right here, I'm going to put the Y route on a streak and motion him out. That's going to pull uh, the tight, the safety in the center of the field over. Other than that, I mean, you really have your choices with like what you want to do with your protection. You can block these guys. You can leave them doing you know, what they're doing as far as routes. Uh, but I'm really going for that B route anyway. This is going to be the home run. You can see it's a, it's a really good stop and go route against cover one corners, against uh, cover zero corners. Uh, it's very consistent. I'll go to the replay real quick. This looks like a new variation. He has an outside release, uh, which typically, like, I mean, if you watch, if he's even right here, he's leaving. You just have to lob it up. It's a lob pass, not a bullet. If you bullet it, it might get knocked down. You want to lob it and run to space. Next up out of the wing tight Z, we have the Y stick. Just streak the A route, and the, uh, the B route's going to get outside of a cover two cornerbacks and safety. You just have to bullet. Uh, you know, pass lead to the side to the sideline and safe catches so you don't go out of bounds. Even against a great safety like Jamal Adams, it gets open. Next up, we got the PA bunch shot against cover three and cover four. Block the running back, block the tight end, slide the protection to the right, and uh, the X route is going to be a one play touchdown against cover three. Just as long as you get the protection needed. Bullet pass lead away from the safety. The cornerback almost got there. So against cover three and cover four, you're going to block the running back, block the tight end, slide protection to the right. Uh, and you have some really good check downs with the B route and the RB route. Uh, but ultimately, it's a cover three, one play touchdown. If you wait for this receiver to get past the safety, bullet pass lead away from the free safety, it's a one play. Against cover four, same setup. I like the slide protection because I want to roll in this direction a lot of the times. Uh, and then you can see, I mean, he's really just getting right past the defense. And it's a really long ball, so you need like 60 yards of space before it drops. Next up, we got the sluggo seam. Just motion out the B route so you can pull the safety in the center of the field over a little bit, then put him on a streak. Uh, that and the, uh, the RB route will do a pretty good job of pulling him over. Uh, you just really need the X route here to beat the coverage. Now, I, I didn't get the best pass. Uh, but you can get one-play touchdowns with this easy. We'll go to the replay to watch what to look for because this particular route is not a guarantee. 
Uh, it doesn't always work. So it just depends on the corner and the receiver. And I don't have a great receiver out here. I got a fast receiver, but not a great receiver. So if he gets to the point where he's even like this, that's, that's I mean, me leading it to the outside is why he got even more separation. But the second he's even, the second I make that throw, uh, which I'm probably already throwing the ball. Yeah, I'm already in the motion. Um, you can see, right, like I said, all you got to do, click onto the receiver and sprint. You lob it, click onto the receivers and sprint to the ball, and you're going to beat that cornerback every time. Next up, we got the verticals. Against cover three, uh, put the receiver on a drag. Against cover three, motion out the B route, and the A route will get open up the seam really easily. Uh, against man coverage, the drag's the look. Against cover two, uh, you can streak the A route and motion out to Sean. And you're going to get a look like this where the B route's gonna get open deep because uh, of, the, of the, the tight end pulling the safety. So you just gotta pull it to the sideline and uh, safe catch. Next up we got the FL spot. So motion in the X route, put him on a streak, block the running back, streak the A route, streak the B route, and this is gonna be your best bet against uh, cover three. So the X route there, once the uh, the Y route pulls the cornerback, bullet pass lead away, you got an easy one play touchdown against cover three. We're almost set to cover four here, and the, the X route, or sorry, the Y route's gonna get outside the cover four because these cornerbacks outside just don't really cover. Bullet and pass leading are really the, the easiest way to do that. Next up we got the SE dig. So against cover two, just streak the A route. There's a lot of space between the A route and the B route. Um, you don't even need to to bullet or pass lead or none of that stuff. I mean, this route really just doesn't get touched. Uh, and it, it's supposed to get jammed, but it's, it's a unique route where it has such a, a wide arcing outside release that you don't typically have to bullet. I mean, you can bullet and pass lead to make a, make a safe throw, but otherwise, it's one of the better releases against cover two. Next up, we got the weak flood. This play right here takes no adjustments, just block the running back. You can even block the tight end to give yourself extra protection. Slide the protection to the right. And the uh, the X route's really going to uh, get past cover threes and cover fours, as you can see right here. I'm just waiting for him to cross that safety, and it's an easy one play touchdown. You can see how far the pass goes. Uh, ultimately, let's go ahead and let us do that one more time with the cover four drop. Uh, and then we're going to do the exact same thing. Block everybody, as I messed up there. Block everybody, slide the protection, uh, and then we just, you know, we're basically just going to wait for that guy to cross through the safety again as he gets behind the uh, the cover, cover, you know, the strong safety and in between the two cover safeties there. So easy one-play touchdown against both. No, no real adjustments needed. Next up, we got the Z spot smash. So against cover two, motion across the uh, the RB route here. Put the X route on a flat and the RB route on a streak. And uh, you're going to have a really easy one play against cover two, a big catch and run at least. As I get a bad throw because I was kind of on the run. Uh, but that's pretty much the look. Next up out of the gun at the tray stack, we have the fade out. Play right here, just going to want to motion into Sean, put him on a streak. He doesn't go far, but that's enough that he's going to get going. Uh, and then I just have to wait for that cornerback to bail. And then we have a really easy one play tutty to uh, to Deshaun over the top bullet and pass lead away. Against cover two. Going to have a pretty similar uh, idea. Same setup, the Y route's going to get outside uh, for a good, uh, good chunk play. Just bullet pass it away, safe catch on the sideline. Next up, we got the Z under. It's another play. Just motion and Deshaun. Put him on a streak. Uh, you can put the uh, the A on a drag. Uh, but ultimately, I'm just waiting for that quarterback to bail again and give me an easy one play to Deshaun. Just basically bullet pass lead to the edge. And it's another one play touchdown. Against cover two which is why I was saying to drag uh, the tight end. Um, you'll have similar success with the Y route as long as you bullet it up the field. Um, and then, I, you know, if you don't run out of bounds, I could have been going for another touchdown. So cover two, cover three, very explosive play. Next up out of the gun empty tray, we got the Y stick.
All right, so we're going to motion this guy in here, put him on a streak. Then we're going to streak the A route. You can put the Y route on a smart route, and it'll it'll uh, either lengthen it or shorten it. or Either way, it doesn't really matter. Depends on where you are on the field. But you can see here, I mean, the, the way that that route pulls uh, the coverage across. i got to get a better throw, man. I'm like... So against cover three, just motion this guy in, streak him, streak the A route. That's all you really got to do. And uh, you're going to have a one-play tutty against cover three. So like I said, right here, just wait for that guy to, uh, to bail. And then we have a really easy throw. Just bullet pass, lead away from the free safety. It's that simple. Against cover four, the Y route will get open. Next up, we got the close halfback wheel. I like to motion this running back out right here. Against cover three, I mean, he typically gets out into the flat. Cover three, cover four, any off coverage, really. Uh, cover two seems to be giving that up this year as well. I'm going to go ahead and I'll confirm that by running it against cover two one time. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it seems to be doing that a lot. So, like I said, right here, cover two is even getting beat worse. Uh, so, the, the cloud flats aren't really that great. But, ultimately, you can see how that works. You can also uh, make a big play against cover two by streaking... Uh, this route and then waiting for this 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 Y route to get outside above the cover two coverage As you can see it's a little bit tight, but it's there against cover three motion out Sanders smart route I already messed that up smart route the a route block the running the other running back and uh, You're gonna have a one play touchdown against cover three as well Get set already Sanders like I said just got to buy time now you can see right there we have a lane because that uh, that smart route route pulls that cornerback down. You can also do it just by motioning this guy out. Like say you want more blocking. You know what I mean? Like you can you can do it just like this. Just motion them out, block your backs. Um, although I'm running for my life already, so the blocking didn't really seem to help. But you can see it works that way. If I can set my feet and get a better throw up the field, it'll work that way too. Against cover four, just motion them out, block your backs. That's basically that setup I was just showing you for the cover three is the same for the cover four. So we're going to go ahead and do that one more time. I said just throw us up over the top of that safety there. Um, and, you know, it's explosive against cover three and cover four. So against uh, cover three and cover four, you want to motion out this receiver here. And he's going to be a one-play touchdown. Uh, block your running backs. They're really not important uh, to the overall play, but they'll help out in blocking. And then the X route, once he crosses the field, you just bombing it up. Really easy. It'll be the same look against cover four. Against cover four, same look. Motion them out. And we're getting that one play tutty. Real easy one play, tell you, man. He was gone by a lot. So, real easy play. The uh, the A route is a really good route against man also, which is uh, somewhat rare in this game. So, keep a lookout for a route like that. Next up, we got the fullback inside. Another good run play from this formation. Um, you can really go any number of ways. It's an inside run, but I find it best to bounce it outside the other direction. Uh, so, like I said, you have... The lane here but you can see it's really really more of an outside run uh, but both runs are explosive next up we got the paf slide this play right here i mean you're just kind of playing the high low route concepts off one another i typically find it's best just to hit this running back underneath especially when it comes to like cover threes cover fours off coverages um, if you have like a, a Tampa 2, it might not work out as well. It's not going to be that good against man necessarily either. But you can see even against Tampa 2. So pretty much any zone coverage, he's going to get underneath. Uh, you're going to have good play, good catch and run plays. Against man coverage, a lot of times uh, they'll trail because it kind of crosses them up. So you can see this route's good against just about any defense uh, for an easy catch and run. Next up, we got the wide receiver corners. So against cover one, this X route here is pretty good uh, in the wide receiver corners. So any man coverage is not really pressing. I mean, it's like cover two, um, 
cover two man is typically oppressing. Although here it's kind of playing outside, so it should work out pretty much the same way. But I know it's definitely a good play against cover one and off coverage and man. Next up we got the power O. Oh. It's a good run play. Um, I mean the blocking really shouldn't like receivers really shouldn't be mowing dudes down like that. Uh, but it's one of the better run plays. Uh, very consistent. I mean, um, you know, look at this. I mean, there's just huge run lanes to the outside. One of the better run plays in the game. Next up, we got the bench. Against cover three, I mean, you can run this as is. Uh, the Y route can really dot up the cover threes for some reason. Mostly because the, the, the cover three kind of gets pulled the other way because the other route's deeper, I guess. I don't know. It's just the way it works against this, against cover three. It's not a home run play necessarily. Uh, but it could, it could also have the same effect against cover four. Uh, that same route can be successful. Um, it just has to break outside here. And then you can see you could dot that up again. But ultimately, it's better against cover three. Most explosive against Tampa two against cover two. Uh, I want to motion over Ertz. I accidentally motion over to Sean. It really doesn't matter, though. Ultimately, um, I, I just, you know, streaking... Uh, Deshaun will get this other route open underneath a cover to safety and get you a, a really big play. Next up, we got the Bucks post. So, this is a good play for cover two. Um, you don't really have to do nothing, but putting this guy on a flat is probably the minimum. Uh, the Y route here is really going to get open outside with a good pass lead, uh, but there's adjustments you can make to make this play even more explosive. Against cover two, motion across either of these receivers and put them on a streak and then put the X route on a flat. And the Y route is going to be going uh, especially fast. Uh, as you can see right here, that, that that streak really pulls them in. And I could have been going for a touchdown, but I ran out of bounds. Uh, but ultimately, you can see how explosive that play is. Against cover four quarters, um, you can pretty much do the exact same thing. You don't really need to even do anything. Uh, it's just I like the motion this guy out. Uh, gets a one-on-one -on -one with the uh, with that one, you know, safety, and typically your receiver is going to beat the safety in a couple four quarters because this is essentially a man-beating route. Then against cover one man, pretty much going to get the same look because, like I said, this is a uh, this is a route that beats man. So, you know, I didn't catch it, but you can see that they got past him. So it's something I just got to do a little bit better. It doesn't mean it doesn't work. So against man, same deal. Y route, as long as I float that up properly, speed underneath it and catch it. We got a uh, cover one play touchdown as well. Next up, we got the buck seams. So, against cover three, just streak the A and the Y route. And you're just gonna have to pass lead away. And it's a tight window, but it's there. Against cover two. Motion over Ertz, put him on a streak, put the X route on a flat. You're going to have a really big cover two play to the Y route. Um, you can hit a home run with this. I safe it just to make sure I made the play. But that, if you run it to the open side of the field, it's a home run. Against cover, um, cover four, cover four quarters. Just put the A on the comeback, motion out B, put him on the comeback. And you'll get a one-on-one, -on -one, uh, which you'll typically win to the Y route. A big win. So, like I said, explosive one-play touchdown against uh, pretty much all those defenses. Against uh, man coverage. No adjustments really needed. The Y route's really good against that, too. All you got to do is bomb it up. Lob it up. You know what I'm saying? Run under it, catch. Next up, we got the PA Bucks cross against cover two streak uh, streak Ertz motion out Jackson and it's going to be a big play to the cover two uh, cover two spacing like right there I mean it's tight because Jamal Adams is out there but typically that's an easy home run anyway or at least a big play uh, if you run to the open side of the field I didn't run to the open side of the field either but it's still a really good play Next up, we got the quick hook.
against cover two, you can really just put the the X in a flat, um, and it'll take away uh, the cornerback, and then you can just kind of dot up this outside route. It's a good play. You can also motion across um, one of these receivers. And you'll have an explosive play against cover two once again. Put more streak. Uh, once the X route, uh, once the Y route gets outside, there's nothing but space out here. So that's obviously a better way to do it. Um, but there's multiple ways to do it. Next up, we got the fade smash. So against cover three, I'm gonna find a cover three real quick. Motion across the X route. Put the A route, the X route, and the B route all on streaks. Block the running back. And the B route will get open against cover three. As you can see right there, it's got a bullet pass lead away. Hopefully, I can get underneath that ball because I felt like it was going out there. But you can see it's cover one plus touchdown against cover two and three. Next up, we got the fake screen wheel. So I'm putting the Sean on a streak, the A route or the X route on a streak, the B route and the A route all on streaks. Uh, and that's pretty much going to be all she wrote. The Y route is going to be a good cover two play, and the B route is going to be a good cover three play once the cornerback turns his attention to the uh, the wheel route. Uh, then I just bullet pass it away from the safety. You don't really, I don't think you have to really make any adjustments against cover two because it's kind of already a cover two play. But you can do that motion if you want to. If you want to mirror the look, you can set it up the same way I did against cover three. Uh, but you can see it's a really easy cover two play. It's already kind of set up that way. Next up, we got the PA cross shot for use against a lot of shit. Streak the A route, streak the Y route, and this is pretty much going to be the look no matter what defense you're running it against. Um, you're really just playing the high versus the low coming across. Like, we have cover three right here. You can see, I mean, that's going to, you know, that, that, that could really be gone up the seam. Uh, I also find that putting the X on a, um, on a streak helps as well. Um, against, like I said, against like cover twos, that route might not necessarily be there as much. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it's going to be pretty consistent. Here we got a cover two. Like I said, you can see it's pretty much, it's almost, you know, if I had more room, I could be catching and running this for, for much bigger plays if I wanted to move the ball over. So against pretty much any zone, it's going to have that effect. That includes cover four, if I have that in the, in here. Like I said, this is just, you know, Usering ain't what it was, so this is something that you can run pretty consistently. So against cover four, um, you can do the same thing. Usering really isn't uh, isn't really what it was. You can see right there. That's going to take a tight throw though. So now we got that cover three look one more time. And like I said, I mean, that cornerback's just sitting back. Not really something you're going to get going a lot of get with, but it's a really big play. Next up, we have the Bucks slot out. So we got a cover one man route on the left side. Uh, we just have to watch to make sure he actually beats him because it's not a guarantee. But you can see right there, it really, really was, it, the throw was behind. I mean, that's that's how, how much he beat him there. Uh, so that's a pretty consistent uh, man beater. If he doesn't beat it, uh, like 100% like he is right now, which sometimes he won't depending on the, the matchup. Uh, you just have to be to a point where you can out sprint him. So if you get past him the slightest bit, lob it up and you can make that play. Uh, on the other side, we have a cover two concept, uh, but you're going to need more space than I have right now. So I'm going to move the ball over. So against cover two... The B route will get outside for a big play against cover two. Just bullet, pass lead to the boundary and safe catch. I wouldn't necessarily, I mean, you could try to take it up the sideline with a rack catch, but you could end up catching the ball out of bounds. Next up, we got the close bucks cross. Is this a good cover one man play or is it not? Yes, it is. So we got some crossing routes here. Uh, where they're basically, that's the only reason I would call a play like this is because cover one man, uh, you know, you have really good routes on both sides. The A route, uh, if I can catch the ball in bounds a little bit more, um, I can get, I can really turn up the field against, uh, against most man coverages. So that's pretty much your look. Next up, we got the close bucks fade. So this is another cover one man beater play. What Deshaun is running is an absolute disgusting uh, man beater as you can see he just runs right past them 
Um, so both receivers did it, as you saw. And we'll do it again. Like I said, it's just, I don't know. He just runs right past them. And there's not a lot of routes in this game that actually do that. So this is incredibly broken. Except we got the double cross. So streak the Y route, streak the, the B route and the A route. Motion this uh, the X route out. Block the running back. Motion out the B route. And we're going to have a one play tutty against cover three. So we just have to wait for that cornerback to bite. And we're bombing it up to the outside. Pass lead bullet to the outside. Against cover two. Same setup really. Only now I can put the A route on a drag. And uh, we're going to have the, the X route's going to get open outside. So, you know, that's going to be a big play. That's also going to be the route that beats man. Uh, it's also going to be the route that beats cover four. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.